Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Clash of Clans sometimes. I've got to say, glitches and bugs are incredibly rare in Clash of Clans, but this there's one glitch here that is absolutely insane. So if you search clans for Lockphone69, okay, search for clans, only one member. So click on that uh, member, and there's Panage Heatam, right? And I have no idea what's been said at the top there, but anyway, so if you then visit him, watch out, look what happens. You get kicked out of Clash of Clans. So we're going to do that one again, but this time we're going to have a look at his base. So uh, we're going to load up again. I'm going to show you also that what, what I think is the highest ever loot offer, that, well, since the loot was changed uh, about a year ago. So let's check it out. So Pana, uh, so it's Panage Hitam in Lockphone 69. So let's check out Lockphone 69. Search, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to look at his profile let's check, click on the eye at the top there so we can see the base now look at all those weird buildings that are stacked on each other let's just let's go back let's just see if we can click on that eye check out those weird buildings they're all layered on each other that must have something to do with it now the weird thing is like the arch tower on top of those walls the weird thing is was this intentional by this guy because lock phone is block, locking you out of the phone it's locking you out of clash or was it something that's just, you know, some weird database glitch on, on on Clash of Clans? I don't know. Now, I'm not recommending that you try this. Okay, I, I hasn't hacked my uh, device. Uh, I'm comfortable doing it. I think it's just like a, a, a some sort of a bug around some some font or something that's on on screen. But I don't recommend that you do it yourself. Um, but you know, if you want to do it, you go go ahead and do it because it's going to lock you out, especially if you're uh, without a shield and you're at high cups or something like that. I wanted to share with you, uh, I wanted to share with you this uh, this attack here, which I think was really good, because this is uh, number 19 attacking a number 18, so they're quite low level, but check out those beautiful walls on this. I mean, this guy's got a, um, you know, tan or nine with, with lava walls, so it's clearly a, you know, dedicated farmer. And Melody's popping in the, uh, the golems, it, it basically going for a classic go wee wee, which I am terrible at go wee wees, but check out those wall breakers, two, wall, two uh, almost max level wall breakers don't break through the walls, they've got gold, um, they got gold bombs, so they're the second to highest level. Oh, and it went straight through past all those bombs and whacked against that wall. So yeah, um, but I want to show you next next up, I want to show you what I think. See, the thing is they changed the loot back in uh, late 2013 so that you, you don't get a loot bonus by raiding up anymore. You just get the loot penalty by raiding down. So that means that loot's kind of hard to find. But then they in introduced the clan castle uh, loot where you can have loot in the clan castle, which meant that the kind of volume that you could get went up. And I've never seen as much loot uh, ever, and I'd love you. I'd love you to tell me if you've seen more uh, than the guy that I'm going to show you next. But anyway, so Melody's taking out the town hall, and just really, it's great because there's, there's troops on either side that are picking out um, the fences. It's like a it's like a wall of, of attack really going through this actually quite beautiful base. I, I, I personally don't think the lavas are as nice as Legos. I, I think they're a little bit bitty because it's kind of it looks almost spotty. However, you know it's it, it's a magnificent base. This, this guy has or lady has farmed the squiggle name uh, has farmed the heck out of Clash of Clans and, and good on them. Uh, so the, they've got the queen at the top taking out a mortar, which is perfect because there's a wizard there that needs to be protected. And then we've got a pincer movement coming in with some witches and some wizards on the right, and from Obviously, it's a foregone conclusion. We've only had a few defences left, and check those two big bombs down there, and just pick off the uh, remaining building. So well done, Melody. Uh, very well deserved three-star attack. Excellent. So just finish off the last bits, and it's kind of like it's really nice because people at the bottom of your um, clan uh, war list, you don't expect much from them. Least of all a three-star. I mean, I know on Junior when uh, well, it's sidekick now actually. Sidekick very rarely does much more than a two star, on, even on a lower level basis. So yeah, well done, Melody. Right, let's check out this uh, this insane loot that we found. So could this be Illuminati, Illuminati confirmed? This is attacker is Supercell. Check that out. One point two million gold. Can you imagine? But look what troops he's got. Can you imagine what that would be like if you had a big heavy army like a uh, you know a Quad or Pentalavalunian or. Uh, <laughs> 
terrible signal, uh, or, or possibly uh, go white. Just bulging with loot. I mean, it, it's so much. He's lightning the gold storage there for two hundred thousand gold. So lightning the gold, uh, the gold mines there. It's just really. I mean, to be honest with you, I I, I don't recommend lightning on, on stuff. But in this circumstances, oh boy, I can totally understand it because there is just so much hanging around, and it's weird as well. So clearly the guy's maxed out, right? The max, the guy does not need um, does not need the gold and the elixir because he's he's you know sort of maxed out on walls and defences. I'm assuming that he's maxed out on um, on the heroes, you know. So he's probably. But the thing is that all of the, uh, you know, all of the traps and all of the uh, the um, crossbows and the inferno towers are all full. So I suspect this person is actually leaving the loot there as a, um, as a, you know, offering it to farmers uh, in return for not uh, taking three, uh, two stars. Which is a bit odd actually, seeing as he's got the. Uh, the town hall out. But anyway, see, look, clan castle troops. This, this is not an abandoned base. <laughs> Very well positioned lightning there, right over one of those gold uh, mines. Take off a bit extra loot. Now, the question is, I, he's not going to get all the loot for sure, but certainly, I mean, Supercell, this is definitely Illuminati, I confirm. This, maybe this is on a Supercell private server. Mm, this is Supercell keeping all the loot for themselves. I doubt it. I'm only kidding. They don't do that. But. So what are we going to do now? We've got 81 archers left. We've got three, three wizards. No chance of getting into that gold, uh, that dark elixir thing. I wonder if the guy actually, actually, cause I could know, I couldn't type in that that um, that clan obviously, but I wonder if the guy actually hasn't maxed his heroes. That's why he's saving the dark elixir there because there was no dark elixir in the drills, but the gold mines and and the elixir pumps were absolutely full. So, clearing up, so that's at least 600,000 gold so far. What do we got there? We've got, we got five archers. What do you do with five archers? Anyway, so insane loot raids. How about you? What's the best one that you've ever seen? And what's the best one that you've ever raided? I'd love to know in the comments. Pop a picture. If you pop a link to a picture, I might, I might show them in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. And bye for now.